Hey everyone, Paris Christou here from ToonboxStudio.com and welcome to our first ever 2016 video here on Toonbox Studio. It's so cool to have you here. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, picture that I did, my first picture of the new year. And I'm also going to be continuing the Q&A sessions. Now before I start the Q&A sessions, there's always those couple of questions that I always get asked. And um, I just want to quickly just throw it out there now. Uh, before we start, first of all, I'm using a Wacom Cintiq tablet, 24HD. I also have that written in every video description on my channel. And as for the old paper texture that I use as I'm drawing on right now, you can find that on my Facebook fan page. Also, the link is in the description. Just go there, like the page by the way, and uh, check the gallery section, open one of the folders, you'll find it somewhere there. Save it, use it, you know. So, without further ado, let's get started. Our first question comes from David Disney. I bought my first course on your site and I already see a dramatic increase in my art skills. My question is, will you be having a course on drawing other females? First of all, David, thank you so much for the feedback. I'm so happy that you found value in my courses and that it boosted your art skills. And uh, to answer your question, yes, I do want to cover all female forms and male forms and stuff. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that sometime in the near future. Next question comes from N Dude, and why not? Is that your wife singing the outro? Who sings at the end of the video? Nope, that is the talented Lana Marie, who is not only singing, but she also wrote the lyrics, she wrote the music, she is amazing. Let me show you her. Check her out. Sexy, unique, original, and oh so sweet. Where else can you find a pinup girl to blow your mind? Oh yeah, that's the talented Lana Marie. Next question comes from, let's see, Senpai. How are, how are you able to afford your Wacom Cintiq? I know other artists use them and I want to get into digital art and would definitely would like to get a Wacom Cintiq in the future. Senpai sends love to Florida. I love Florida, been there, loved it. All right, Senpai, it's really pretty simple. I just started working, saved up, and just got one. That's it. Pretty much it. Just work, save up, and get one. Next questions come from Nace and Sakuraxel2. I'm destroying your name here, man. Sorry. Nace says, Have you ever considered what Cherry will sound like? Would she sound kind of sweet, sassy, kind of mellow, maybe perky? You ask, What kind of voice do you think Cherry would have? Okay, if she was ever animated. Right. I'm, I want to go for bubbly. You know, sweet and bubbly. Something kind of like Anna from Frozen. That kind of thing. Joyful, happy, bubbly, and energetic. Um, that kind of thing, you know. But we shall see. Leanne de Hartog. Now that we know you dislike cubism, 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 what is your favorite art movement? Man, I broke a lot of hearts when I, in the last uh, Q&A session when I bashed cubism down to the ground. Well, look guys. I like everything. I've got a taste for everything. What I prefer to see though is clarity. I want to see an image and I want to have clarity. It's pretty much it. I want to know what I'm looking at. I don't want to look at a jigsaw puzzle, you know what I'm saying? If I was to draw a cherry pin-up cubism, alright? Damn! I guarantee you all of you will be unsubscribing from this channel the day after. <laughs> so, yeah, anything that is clear so I can see what you're doing. That's it. Chris Jasser, Art and Animation, love the Q&A videos, thanks man, really good in depth, okay cool. My question for you is, do you ever get tired with drawing Cherry or do you try to draw something else outside the videos? Have you ever get to that artist distraction moments where you're focused on one project and then get inspired to do something? Alright, yeah I do get tired sometimes of drawing Cherry, I mean, I, you know, I mean outside of YouTube I draw tons of stuff but Drawing cherry over and over and over again. There's times where I think, ah, oh, here we go again, another cherry picture. And I don't want to be a one-trick pony for the rest of my life. So yeah, there's times where I think, man, I wish I could do something else right now and stuff like that. I do have those moments. Now, as for distraction, no, never. I'm always focused. Even if I've got like three, four projects at the same time, I'm still focused on those projects. I will be focused until I get it done. I will not stop. Just like this picture. I finished this at six o'clock in the morning. I went throughout the night, all the way through the morning to, you know, yeah. Anyways, next question comes from Imagine Inc. When did you realize that you wanted art to be your job? When did you start really getting into art? I realized that I wanted to be involved in art when I, as far back as I remember, around, you know, when I was a kid. 
I don't know, four, five, three. When I first saw my first cartoon, I don't know what age that was. When I saw my first cartoons, I thought, yeah, I want to be a cartoonist. I was watching my Thundercats, my Transformers, the Looney Tunes. I was like, cartoons for me. When did I start really getting into art, however? It must be around 18 years old, because um, after when I, when I hit 18, that's when I started taking things a little bit more seriously, and I wanted to expand my horizon, see what, you know, build my skills, and the other way to do that is by, you know, checking out different types of art forms and stuff, even cubism, yes, even cubism, uh, but yeah, 18. That's the one I started, uh, you know. So, alright, Marcus says, I've been a sub for a very long time. Thanks, man. Like 2012 time. Awesome. And I've always wanted to ask, how did you get into YouTube? Ah, Marcus. You just hit a spot there, Marcus. Tell you what, I'm just going to put a pin on your question for one moment. Let's go over to Blue Jay. Blue Jay says, how many years took you to become so successful in art on YouTube? Success means different things to different people, right? So it depends what kind of a person you are. Some people find success having all these subscribers. Some people like the fame, the money you earn from the YouTube ads and stuff, you know. For me, the most successful part of my YouTube journey, besides, you know, all you guys, um, was the creation of my business, which is ToonboxStudio.com, where I create all those courses. Thanks to YouTube, that became successful. So, I, I guess I, you know, my first year, that's when the website kicked off. And also, on year number two, success for me then kicked in when my name got out into the market. You see, people started to discover me on YouTube, they saw what I do, they liked it, and they wanted to hire me. So overnight, you know, some point in my second year, my email's inbox was full with like people like sending me projects, uh, commissions, just all the studios got to know who I am, magazines and stuff. So it was cool. I got my name out there. So I got work, especially at a time where I actually really, really needed it as well. So um, yeah, for me, that's more success to me than having, you know, fame and stuff on YouTube and stuff. So yeah, first year, my web business, second year, my name as an individual artist, I reckon. Right, back to Marcus, my friend, Marcus. Tell you what I'm going to do for you, Marcus, because you hit a sweet spot right there, my friend. And there's no way I can answer this question right now because it's a long story, which involves, like I said in another video, about my little logo in my, my little character, my logo. It's a very interesting story, and this is what I'm going to do for you, Marcus. On my next cherry pin-up video, I'm going to dedicate it to answering your question. I'm going to tell you all a little story on how I got into YouTube. It's actually kind of fascinating. So, um, sorry for not answering you, but remember, I will. Graham Walters asks, love the video as usual. Thanks, man. As you progress on YouTube, are you going to start investing more time into it or will it always be more of a side job? What is your end goal? I know you mentioned a cherry shop before. Well, yeah, you know it. You all know it. My main goal is to get cherry animated, right? Now, will that happen? I don't know. There's times where I have a reality check and I think, hey, Paris, is all this worth it? I mean, this is fun and stuff, but hey, I always get those days where I think to myself, what should I really do, you know, with this channel and stuff? I mean, there's so many, I've got so many interests, you know? I, I, there's, there's times where I think, man, I'd love to do a comedy show instead of drawing cherry, or I like to do this, I like to do that, you know? But, but how do you get all those and gel it into one channel? You know, trying to change things up a bit without annoying some people who come to see me draw cherry. So we shall see. So I've got a couple of ideas up my sleeve, and as like I mentioned in the previous Q and A session, I'm gonna be revealing a little special little video I'm planning to create, and I'm gonna test it on you guys, see how you guys react to that different type of video that you're not used to on my channel. So depending on your reactions, if you like it, I might go a different direction. We shall see. So, um, yeah, there are, there are times where I always think about investing energy and, you know, creativity in a different direction towards what you guys are used to seeing me doing. So, yeah. Tony Skits and Kevin ask, first of all, awesome pick, thanks, man. Do you have times when you really don't have the mood to draw? Where do you get your inspiration then? Do you ever have those days where you can't draw anything? If so, what do you do to get out of that funk? I have days that way. I know what you guys are talking about. I've been there. Right, Kevin also says, with so many years of practice and learning, there must have been a lot of downs and frustration. How did or do you handle these? What kept you up? Right, I get you guys. I've been there. It's called the artist mind block, right? And um, you know what? I used to be like that, you know, but as you mature 
through your little art journey as you build your skills, your knowledge and stuff like that and you mature. You don't get that anymore. I mean, I don't anymore. You know, I'll tell you why. This is my little secret. I've mentioned this in my courses on my website. I have a list and it's called my passions and my obsessions. This gigantic list that it has these, all these categories and subcategories of my passions and obsessions. And when I take a look at that list, I come up with ideas easy, like on the spot. I could come up with an idea for what to draw all the time. Now, when you have a cool idea, then you're gonna be motivated to do it, right? Cause it's so cool, yeah? If you're not motivated, that means the idea was not cool enough. So get a cool idea, you will get motivated to carry on to finish it off, you know? So make a list of your passions and obsessions. Next question comes from Tommy Tootsters. <laughs> Would you ever do a art live stream similar to what Draw With Jazza does? I think what you're trying to say is uh, that the Twitch, he does the Twitch um, live streams on, on Twitch, right? Or I don't, I don't know if you're talking about Twitch or if you're talking about um, live stream on YouTube, but um, you know what? It's a lot of preparation, especially for me, uh, because my artwork does take ages to do. So I don't know, uh, maybe I could do like a live stream of me sketching or something and, you know, maybe... I don't know, we shall see. I, I could do a one-off, test it out, see how it goes. But um, yeah, it's a lot of preparation now for, for what I do. You know, it's a lot of hard work. And I don't know, like for example, me coloring takes hours. And I don't think you guys want to sit down for hours, you know. But maybe a sketching session. I might do one off. We shall see. We shall see. Airman Lakisha says, do you sell your art, Paris? No, I don't at this present time. Uh, simply because I cannot find anything decent online that can handle quality prints. I mean, I don't want to sell some tacky prints just to, for the sake of selling it. Uh, but I do want to. Uh, unfortunately, where I come from, um, printers are expensive over here. And it won't be worth, you know, it's going to be expensive if I sell you prints, you know, with the prices I'm printing them over here. Um, if you guys know anyone, write it down in the, co in the comment section. But have in mind that I've checked most of them out and a lot of them are garbage. And yeah, next comes from Jessica Billings. What program would you recommend for young animators or ones who are starting out? By the way, this video gave me creative juices. Awesome. Right, it depends on your budget because animation software, they're expensive, right? Now, if you're on a budget, I recommend you Sketchbook Pro. The flipbook side, the feature that Sketchbook Pro has, it might not be the best you know, animation piece of software at this precise moment, but I've got a feeling that in the future it could be awesome. Um, but it's perfect enough to practice learning animation on that thing. Now, if you have got cash to spend on a decent software, I recommend you two. One is Toon Boom Harmony. It's an elite piece of software that has everything in one. I have that one. And I also have the other one as well, which is TV Paint. If you're like hardcore 2D animator, you know, traditionally, you like to hand draw everything just like I do. Uh, TV Paint is awesome. But Toon Boom has a whole all-in-one package. You can do cutout animation as well. There's all these effects and stuff. Oh, wow, really, really cool. So, depends on your budget, guys. Well, we're coming up to the end of the video now, so it's time to wrap it up. If I didn't answer your question, do not worry. I can't answer everybody, you know, in one video. So, repeat the question once again in the, in the comment section and tell your friends to give it a nice thumbs up because the popular ones or the most commonly asked ones gets picked. Right, I'm Paris Christou from ToonboxStudio.com. If you're new, subscribe and join the fun. Give this video a nice thumbs up. Let's see if we can get 500 likes on this video. Share it with your friends, and now it's time for me to show you the final image. All together now, here we go. Na 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 na. Oh yeah! <laughs> awesome guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on another video. Bye bye for now!